Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel's full with tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you can ever need to know about volleyball. So today, I wanted to talk to you about how can you practice your serve at home. I am in my lovely abode here. As you can see, bright and sunny. It's the afternoon, sun is setting. Um, I'm going to use very minimal space. Like this is behind my living room. So we're gonna use such a little space. And because a lot of you guys, you don't have a lot of room to work with, but I want you to be able to still practice your serves and get ready for tryouts. So let's work on some things that you can do at home to practice your serves. Let's get right into it. So as we know, tryouts are happening pretty soon and I've gotten a lot of requests to start doing things at home so you guys can start practicing things at home. So before we get started, we do need some equipment. So let's go get the equipment first. So you only really need one piece of equipment, but you do need a secondary environmental piece of equipment. So I'm gonna use a volleyball. Right now I'm gonna use my Dick Pink volleyball. Thank you so much, Dick Pink. Appreciate you guys. And um, remember, Breast Cancer Month is coming up, but I'm using my Dick Pink ball. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear this area behind my little living room area to make sure I have enough room for safety. All right, I closed the blind a little bit so that way it's not as bright, but I'm gonna open it up because it got dark in here. Make sure you have good lighting, guys. But to make sure that you have appropriate lighting, not something that's too bright and you can't see, but also something that's not super dark. Okay, so in my area, I have enough area to completely turn around. I wanna protect my plants. I wanna make sure that they're doing okay. So be careful of this but I'm making sure to have a clear area. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start working on your toss. Now, we know that in volleyball, the toss is essential, so important. So one way to work on your toss is by extending your serving arm like your serving platform. I'm in my serving form. I'm moving multiple ways. I'm in my serving form. I'm gonna put that serving hand behind my back here putting that serving hand behind my back. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. And I'm just gonna to toss it up and let it drop. And I'm making sure to let it drop right in front of my right serving shoulder. Now, if it doesn't hit that space, I wanna make sure that it does because it can be consistent. Now, here's a modification. Let's say mom and dad is like, stop that ball slapping on the ground. You can go to catch it to make sure that it's in the right space. Remember, you want it to land right over your right serving shoulder. Make sure you're using that right footwork. Arm behind your back, one more time. Tossing up and catching. Body, and your torso has to lean forward or you have to lean back. You know 100% your toss is off. Nice. Remember, if you have to lean forward like this to get it, toss is off. If you have to lean back, toss is off. Nice. So that's one way you can practice your serve inside. Um, this is a really effective drill because it allows you to make sure that you are getting your toss right. Now let's talk about the form. One thing that you can remember to do is practice the form. The step in, the step in. A lot of players forget that step in. Coming out and stepping in. Let's get a full body angle. I'm out here, stepping in. I'm out, I'm stepping in. I'm working on the mechanics of getting that step in. That's all I'm doing. Okay? And that's the second way that you can start working on your overhand serve indoors. The third thing that you should be able to do is start working on reaching the ball at the highest point. That means contacting it at the highest point. It's 
just that easy. So remember, the first drill, the toss, putting the toss together to the step forward, putting it all together to the highest point. You see how I did that? It all works together, the highest point. Making sure you get that whole body function. Nice job. So if you are still working on your overhand serve, this is a great way to practice in between that. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to get some practice reps in. If you have any other suggestions for some drills that you can do at home, drop them below, because I'm sure somebody needs it. All right, I'll see you guys next time.